right. Good day. Today we are doing Chapter 1, Section 4 of Algebra 1. Uh, our essential question is, how can you solve an absolute value equation? All right, we have a core concept here. Um, a lot of these are um, very important. If I were taking notes, I would probably take a second and pause. Um, I'll probably talk through a couple of these. The first properties here are just uh, some basic properties of absolute value. Absolute value is always going to be positive. Absolute value is the distance from that number to zero on a number line. And because this distance is always positive, that's why absolute value is always going to be positive. So if you take the absolute value of a negative, it's going to be a positive number. When you are solving absolute values, you're going to have to take both the positive and the negative scenarios into consideration. So here it equals that C, but we're going to have to set up actually two equations, one where it equals C and one where it equals negative C because absolute value of C is C and the absolute value of negative C is C. So there's going to be two possible solutions. So let's go ahead and work out our first example. X minus 4 equals 6. First thing we're going to do is set up our two equations. X minus 4 equals 6 and X minus 4 equals negative 6. We solve each one of them by adding 4 to both sides. And you get two answers. X equals 10. X equals negative 2. And if you look at 4 on your number line, if you go to the right 6, that equals 10. If you go to the left 6, that equals negative 2. Each solution is 6 units from 4. All right. And our next one, the absolute value of any expression must be greater than or equal to 0. So if we have 3x plus 1, it cannot equal negative pi. Because if I take the absolute value of a number, it's never going to be a negative number. Absolute value is always going to be a positive. So this equation has no solution. All right. So on this one, you would set up your two equations. x is going to equal 10 x equals negative 10. Well, that's easy enough. On this one, you're going to have x minus 1 equals 4. x minus 1 equals negative 4. 3 plus x equals negative 3. And you might ask yourself, is that even possible? Do you what? Take a second, hit pause. Finish those answers up. When you are ready, hit the pause button again and check your answers. So number one, the answer is negative 10 and 10, which there's really nothing to solve on that one. It's just a matter of writing it here. You have to solve each one of those equations and you get negative 3 and positive 5. Now, number three, there is no solution because the absolute value is never going to equal negative three. All right, let's do one that's a little bit more complicated. Here we have 3x plus 9, absolute value, minus 10 equals negative 4. First thing I need to do is isolate that absolute value. So I notice, hey, I've got a minus 10, and I ask myself, what can I do to get rid of that minus 10? Well, I'm going to add 10 to both sides. And when I do that, I get 3x plus 9 equals 6. Now I'm going to set up my two equations. 3x plus 9 equals positive 6. 3x plus 9 equals negative 6. Subtract 9, divide by 3, 
and I get x equals negative 1. Do the same thing on the other equation, and I'm going to get x equals negative 5. Notice you're not always going to get the same number. In fact, most cases you are not going to get the same number. So your solutions are negative 1 and negative 5. All right. In a cheerleading competition, the minimum length of a routine is 4 minutes. The maximum length of the routine is 5 minutes. We want to write an absolute value equation that represents the minimum and the maximum lengths. So understand the problem. We know um, what's happening. You're given the minimum. You're given the maximum. We have to write an absolute value. That's the key right there. So we need to consider those. And then we should look at a number line and find the halfway point between those two solutions. So the minimum is 4. The maximum of 5. Halfway in between is 4.5. And that, it, that distance is 0.5 away. So 4 is 0.5 distance units away from 4.5. 5 is 0.5 units away from 4.5. So x minus 4.5 equals 0 0.5. And that's what that absolute value is. It's the distance from the halfway point. There's our equation right there. And if we were to solve it, you get 4 and 5. So if I plug those back in, they both check out. All right. Here are four problems for you to try on your own. What I suggest you do is take a second, salt, um, pause the computer, solve these by yourself. When you are done, turn the computer back on and check your answer. For number four, you need to first subtract five, set up your two equations. On number five, you need to first divide by four and then set up your two equations. Number six, you need to add three and then divide by negative two and set up your two equations. All right, sometimes you're going to have absolute value equal an absolute value. So you're going to have to set up two equations. You're going to set one side to the positive scenario, one side to the negative scenario. So here I would have AX plus B, which is on the right, and take the positive scenario, which would be CX plus D. Here the negative scenario would be negative parenthesis cx plus d. So let's go ahead and solve one of these. 3x minus 4 equals x. So you're going to have to go ahead and set up your two scenarios. 3x minus 4 equals x or 3x minus 4 equals negative x. Now we just have variables on both sides of the equation equal sign, so we need to isolate them, get them by over to one side. So subtract x, 2x minus 4 equals 0, add 4, 2x equals 4, divide by 2, x equals 2. Do the same thing on the other side, add x to both sides, 4x minus 4 equals 0, Add 4 to both sides, 4x equals 4, divide by 4, x equals 1. So my two solutions are x equals 2 and x equals 1. We always want to go back when we do a problem like this, when we take one of our variables and we change the sign, then we can create what we call extraneous solutions. So you go back to the original problem and plug your answer in. So since we have two answers here, we're going to have to plug it in twice. Plug it in wherever you see an x. And on this case, both of them work out. 
All right, take a second, try these on your own, check your answers. Should be negative three, positive seven, 1.4, and 17. All right, here we have the absolute value of 2x plus 12 equals 4x. So we're going to write two equations, 2x plus 12 equals 4x, 2x plus 12 equals negative 4x. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, divide by 2, and I get x equals 6. Subtract 2x from both sides, divide by negative 6, x is going to equal negative 2. Again, we're going to want to check our answers to see if either one is extraneous. So I look at that first one and I put 6 in for x. And 2 times 6 is 12, plus 12 is 24. Take the absolute value, 24. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 does equal 24, so we're good. Now I'm going to check out negative 2. Plug in negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 8. 12 is 8. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Well, then I take that absolute value and I get 8 equals negative 8, which is not a true statement. So it has a slash mark through that equal sign. So I've done everything mathematically correct here. What I did was I created an extraneous solution. It's just a false solution. So my solution is only x equals 6. That's the only one I would put down on the answer line. All right, take a second, pause the computer, try this one on your own. On this one, you're going to get x plus 5 equals negative, parenthesis, x plus 11. That's your negative scenario. You go through and solve it by adding x on both sides, then subtracting 5, and you get x equals negative 8. Then we're going to do the positive scenario, and you get x plus 5 equals x plus 11. Your x's cancel out, and you get 0 equals x which is never going to be true. So that one does not work out. So only one solution, x equals negative 8. All right, again, take a second, pause the computer. When you have completed these four, hit the pause button again and check your answers. All right, that's all we have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed.